Good morning, this is Donna from Faith, Faith, and God. Um, I'm going to start this video uh, with a prayer. And I hope you guys will join along with, with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I strive on a daily basis to walk the way you wish of me to walk. I think of you in the morning. I think of you throughout the day. I pray to you. I talk to you. And you're the last thing on my mind at night. Help me. Strengthen me. Help me to be the overcomer you want me to be. Help me to be kind to people. Help me to be resourceful. Help me to do your will, not my own. I strive for a daily walk with you an intimacy and I pray that I can be a tool to bring others towards you in the name of your son Jesus Christ my Lord my Savior my Redeemer Amen uh, this video is going to be on since we're ending the year of 2019 and going into 2020 I always try to write a resolution uh, usually before I found my way back to Christ to God it would be more of a, I want to lose weight I want to do this I want to do that I want to save money try not to spend and usually within the first three three or four weeks I've already I've already failed uh, the majority of it this year instead of writing a resolution is more of a, a life plan I want to do um, and it's going to have to do with having more of a intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father, my Lord, my Savior, everything. And I'm a fallen sinful person. I know I am. I, I sin regularly. And I was anticipating falling because we as people are sinners. We, we sin all the time. When we come to Christ we get this acknowledgement that we are saved and we don't lose our salvation we don't and we try to walk this walk with Christ me myself I I try my best but I do fall and I do stumble when I sin I pick myself up dust myself off and ask God for guidance and strength in me and the willpower to not do that again but being a human I stumble all the time one of my resolutions or reasons for starting this resolution is to I want to put God in my neighbors first in everything that I do to love God with all my heart and soul mind and strength and to put him first in every area of my life I want to ask before I do anything I want to be kind to my neighbors and my fellow men. I want to make this a lifestyle commitment, not just for the year of 2020. I want to begin each day with God's word. I want to end with God's word. I want to walk through the day in his presence constantly. When I face challenges, I want to pray about them. I want to thank God on a regular basis. I want to be closer to God. I want to pray constantly. I want to devote my life wholeheartedly to Him. Not to this worldly world, but I want to be more of a spiritual being with my God. I want to develop this closeness. I want to not know and understand his word. I want to have a deeper understanding with my father. I crave that. I feel like I desire that so deeply that this is all I've been thinking about. I don't know all 
that he wants me to do. I don't. It's a daily walk. I'm a glob of plaster or whatever. And he's creating me. He's not done. He's not done with any one of us. He's working on every single one of us. But just imagine it. God never finishes his job. When he finally has says he's going to do it, he does it. He does not give up and go on. So I'm one of his works that he's doing. He promises to bring me to the right. So just imagine knowing that God is not giving up on us. I am not going to give up on God. I am not going to purposely sin. Because what Jesus did for us on that cross on Calgary, he paid for each of our sins. He paid for each and every one of our sins, past, present, and future. So every time I sin, every time I stumble and sin, I'm adding to that pain that he suffered on the cross. I am adding to that extra stripe that he got. Those nails being hammered into his arms, his hands and his legs and his feet. That jab he got in the side. All of that, all those stripes he got on his back is because of me and it's because of you and it's because of that person over there. It's because of us. He paid that price and he didn't get a good deal on that. He didn't get a bargain deal. He paid for each and every sin. So it figures, it physically and spiritually and emotionally hurts me when I tell a little white lie or if I happen to lust over something or if I want something that I don't I know I don't need or I eat something when I'm not hungry when I complain about the neighbor next doors their music too loud or when I do all that that is all the sin that I'm doing and it's adding to all that pain he had to put up with it means that every every stripe every scourge that he got was because of me and because of you and it makes me physically ill to know that I made him hurt that he did all that for me so my resolution is to become more like him so I don't add to his pain and I love God so much I love him I love him so much. It's often said that today is the first day of the rest of your life. That's obviously true. But this day could be formative for the rest of our lives. If we choose today to live by God's New Year resolution. If we choose to put God and neighbor first in all that we do, we could be a catalyst for a spiritual awakening in our lives and through the lives we touch where we live and around the world. I will live for God. If no one else does, I will. And God made him the greatest theologian in American history and used him to speak, spark the first great awakening. And that's what I want from me. I want to be able to we need to awaken the world. <clears throat> we need to take back our Christianity. We need to say no to these people that are trying to get rid of God. They're trying to get rid of God in the classrooms, in the society, in, in Christmas, and all this. We need to take back our religion. And, and in this end times more importantly than ever we need to have this awakening so that the rest of the world will get to know god on the level that we are and i pray that you guys will join this walk with me i pray that we have a deeper wisdom and knowledge of his word and that we make god the center of our life and that we don't 
push him aside and say, we don't have time for this or we don't have time for that. Because if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't have time at all. So please, guys, join me in this walk. Help me. And I'll help you guys get closer and closer with God. I'm starting today. I'm starting today. Today is the beginning of the rest of my life. I love you guys. I hope you'll decide to make God first in your life. And if ever you guys need anything to talk about, you can talk to me. Thank you and have a good day.